In this simple indoor scene, there is a single stationary sound source indicated by the purple square. The listener is attached to the camera. As I turn on reflection propagation paths and then diffraction paths, notice how the quality of the sound changes. These propagation paths are the first to reach the listener and are called early reflections. Their presence gives a human listener cues to the size and shape of the environment. The lines that converge on the sound source indicate the sound propagation paths of that source. Green lines are reflection paths, and yellow lines indicate diffraction paths. In order to efficiently model sound propagation, G-Sound only computes a selection of the early reflections. It uses a separate reverb estimation system that dynamically determines the reverb time and amplitude for a particular scene. This late reverberation is used to fill in the holes in the early reflections to produce a complete sonic environment. As the listener moves away from the sound source, notice how the sound consists more of a late reverberation than early reflections or direct sound. This models how the sound behaves in the real world. This large outdoor scene shows how G-Sound behaves in open environments. Since most sound energy quickly dissipates in these environments, the early reflections provide most of the sound that is heard. One can hear a noticeable delay between propagation paths in this large environment. As a listener passes behind buildings, the sound consists of the early reflections from other buildings, as well as diffractions over the tops of buildings. This more complex outdoor scene shows how fast G-Sound can be for even geometry that is not created specifically for sound simulation. Interactive frame rates are still achieved on a single processor laptop computer. As the listener passes behind the building, notice how the sound is attenuated. This demonstrates how G-Sound performs frequency-dependent sound propagation. The audible sound is produced by reflection and diffraction paths. In the real world, these paths produce frequency-dependent effects based on the geometry and material properties of the environment. G-Sound approximates these effects using a complex material system that can encode a different material for each triangle in a scene. This large cathedral scene demonstrates how G-Sound's reverb estimation system produces plausible results with absolutely no artist effort. Simply set the material properties for the geometry and the correct scale factor to achieve realistic audio. Once again, notice how the direct sound gets louder in relation to the reverberant sound as the listener approaches the sound source. While G-Sound is still able to perform interactively in this complex scene, typical applications would use a simplified version of this geometry, which preserves the features which are most useful for sound propagation. By decreasing the size of an environment, the reverb time naturally decreases. Here the cathedral has been reduced in size by 50%. The reverb time and early reflection delay have automatically adjusted to the new environment.